When I got here, I knew next to nothing. So I, I had, you know, I had a rough idea. I knew how to ride a horse, and I've been riding motorbikes for a while. But when it came to cattle work, and that, I, I had no idea. But I think the main thing is just being happy to learn. Because it, it is hard work, and there are days where you know you go and oh, I'm not sure if I'm getting it, but you actually are. You, there's little things you're taking forward and each time, and if they were to have a look in the mirror at the end of the year and go, you know what, I've done something, I've become a better person, I've really improved my horse skills, or now I can weld. So I'm really proud of what I do and the work, I, like the efforts I put in. You, you, yeah, you do something and you look back and you be like, yeah, so you had stuff and I did that. I think you've you learn a lot more about yourself when you come out of the station. You know, you, you come out for a gap year, you end up here for 10. You know, that's, that's the way the industry is. But that's a credit to the industry too, because, you know, there's places like NAPCO putting in the time, putting in the education and the training into people. And that is a real credit to our industry in the beef industry is that you're getting people who are long-standing members of, of the community. And, and those skills and all that training and education that's gone to those people, well, they'll, they'll carry through and the industry is better off for it, I reckon. And I think that's why you've got people who've been with NAPCO for 20, 25 years. You know, you've got people who started off as a, as a truck driver or as a bull runner and now they're running the place. Everyone's just eager to help you learn and see you um, succeed too. They, they want to see you do well.